And what's going on with Dalvin Cook? This is a Monday night game. It's an important game, but he went out with the shoulder again. He's hurt fantasy owners twice now with the mid-game injury. It is the biggest injury of the week. It's the one we're going to be monitoring. You just brought it up. It's Monday night football. That is terrible. If you don't have a pivot option, it's it's going to be it's going to be really rough. And it's it's rough because the pivot option is maybe someone you might have to pivot off to to another option. So when it comes to Dalvin Cook. You have conflicting reports. Mike Zimmer saying, yeah, it feels good today. He's pretty much going to be good to go. Adam Schefter coming out during the Monday night football game and saying he's he'd be surprised if Dalvin Cook uh, plays again in the regular season. Um, look, the, the Vikings have to win. If, if, if the That Vikings, is the truth. I mean, if they were had clinched, I would not be counting on Dalvin Cook at all. Yeah, but, it, I mean, the Vikings have two difficult games. I believe it's the Packers and the Bears left. And if the Rams win their games... Uh, which are are easier other than the, the Niners, then, then they get the playoff spot. So that's interesting. Now, I had said yesterday it was the same shoulder that he had re-aggravated, that he got surgery on in college. It is not. It is the other shoulder, which means he no longer has new shoulders to injure. He doesn't but have any left. He has They've no, all been injured? no uninjured shoulders left. Two for two. Two for two. <laughs> he was good. He's well done. Based on how you feel about Dalvin Cook right now and what we saw from Mike Boone, because Alexander Madison missed a week, Mike Boone is entirely unknown. He comes out last week, Cook goes out, there's no Madison, and Boone puts up 13 for 56 and two touchdowns against the Chargers. You're facing a vulnerable Green Bay defense. They gave up the highest rush success rate, ninth most rushing yards and fantasy points to the running back position. Mike Boone's already, he's already given you, like, Instead of us speculating, mm -hmm. like Cook goes out at the end of the game, and you go, well, I wonder what Mike Boone could do. He's like, I'll show you over the back half of a game what I can do so you know ahead of time. He was excellent. And the thing with Al we've been saying all year, Alexander Madison is the handcuff to own because, one, he's good, but more importantly, he's on a team that wants to run who has a great uh, you know, playoff schedule, and he's behind an injury-prone Dalvin Cook. Well, Alexander Madison obviously missed this last game, but he did not participate in any practices last week. He wasn't close to playing. So I think there's a real good shot that Alexander Madison is out again this coming week. And that means Boone... And Schefter says there's a pretty good chance Cook is out. Yeah, so Boone has to be picked up. And I, I look, all three of these guys have to be rostered in 100% of leagues. Alexander Madison should be picked up, and Boone should be picked up because... If but Cook is out and Madison is in, I'm definitely playing Madison. He'll he'll leapfrog Boone, you know, uh, because if he's if he's active, there's a reason he was the number two on the depth chart prior to his injury. No question. No but question. But there is a real good shot that Boone is the starter, wins people championships. Now the real worry here is it's Monday Night Football, so you have to have a pivot, but you can't pivot to one of these other guys because you don't know the health of them. That so, is correct. Unless you're in dire straits, it's a tough situation to be in. If you don't have one of these other guys already. If you've got Jamal Williams on the bench, then perfect. Thank you so much for watching that video. It would make me so happy if you watched more of those videos. So click subscribe, ring that bell, and make your life a little better today.